Michael Coates. Yeah, wrapping up a great day out there. It's still very nice. Hopefully the kids are enjoying the sunshine and doing a little outside recess from the homeschooling 62 right now in IF and the winds light out of the south at six miles an hour. Uh, mainly sunny conditions right now at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam as well at 64. Feels like uh, again uh, just another great day with winds out of the west at 14 miles an hour. Uh, humidity is very dry at the moment and uh, we're expecting to hold on to this weather pattern at least for another day. We'll start shaking things up by Wednesday. So for tonight and tomorrow, quiet conditions, Rexburg 62 and uh, winds at six miles an hour. A few clouds overhead, uh, just partly cloudy skies, but nothing to really worry about in terms of thunderstorm threats because we have high pressure pretty much in command, at least through Wednesday. There is some storminess building along the West Coast, which will slide in here from California and Southern Oregon as we get into the midweek. we got some Windy conditions to the north across Montana, but you know, generally it's pretty quiet here around the neighborhood. Now, for the forecast for tomorrow, we're looking at dry conditions also across Montana, most of Wyoming, and all of Idaho. You got some wet weather as you go into central and southern Utah, and pretty much the entire state of Colorado, Arizona, and most of New Mexico under the influence of some wet conditions here for tomorrow. There's a little bit of wet weather that's trying to push into the uh, northwest corner of the United States up there towards the Seattle and the Puget Sound, but that's the leading edge of our Wednesday storm. Storm system. We'll talk about that in just a minute. First, temperatures tomorrow climbing above the seasonal normal bar there. Normally, we'd be hitting the upper 50s in Idaho Falls. We're going to be well into those mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. And here's the forecast as we roll into your Wednesday. Like I mentioned, high pressure here with us for Tuesday. As we get into Wednesday, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to slowly increase the cloud cover. And then we get this cold front, warm front scenario as we get into Oregon around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock early in the afternoon on Wednesday. By Wednesday night, the warm front hits us, then the cold front as we go overnight into Thursday. The showers arrive late Wednesday. Most of your Wednesday is going to be uneventful except for some wind as the storm system nears. And then as we go to bed Wednesday night, showers will follow. We get a few late night thunderstorms possible going into Wednesday night and early Thursday morning with some high elevation snow. Then we'll have more scattered snow and rain showers wrapping around on the back side of that cold front. Most of this wet weather is going to clear out though by Friday, leaving us with a quiet weekend. So for tomorrow, I get highs into the 60s for your Tuesday. Southwest winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And again, the showers arriving late Wednesday. Mid 60s for Preston with a pair of sixes. 67 in Malad tomorrow with a low 60s in Lava Hot Springs. Lows back into the mid 30s tonight. Jackson back into the mid 20s with a high 57 for tomorrow. 60 in Ashton with 63 for Rexburg. Temperatures in central Idaho scoring into the mid 60s for Charleston Salmon. Upper 50s in Mackey with the mid 60s in Arco. And Idaho Falls, I got you at 65 with the same for Blackwood and Rigby. A pair of sixes for Pocatello tomorrow in the mid 60s for Aberdeen and American Falls. Here is your eight day outlook. Quiet weather for tomorrow. The wind picks up on Wednesday. Scattered showers will drop in to play Thursday. Friday, the showers begin to clear. Then the weekend heads in here with a sunny, uh, sunny outlook for Saturday. In fact, it's going to be really nice for Saturday. A couple clouds on Sunday and then more showers to follow for Monday and Tuesday for the early part of the approaching work week. Pocatello, mid 60s for Wednesday with the winds increasing. We'll be hitting the 40s and 50s for Thursday and Friday with those passing rain and snow showers. And of course, yeah, there's a chance of some mountain snow, uh, but we're leaning more towards rain and thunderstorms for the Snake River Plain. Blackfoot, 65 for the high Wednesday, mid 50s for your Thursday and Friday. Not bad this Saturday with a high of 65. Rexburg, 62 for Wednesday, low 50s to round out your Thursday and Friday with highs getting back into the 60s for Saturday. Nice little rebound there for the weekend. And Salmon here, a high of 65. The winds will pick up on Wednesday with the warm front cold front scenario temperatures in the upper 50s on Thursday with a rain snow mix for central Idaho and Jackson rain snow showers even a few thunderstorms late Wednesday through Thursday highs will be hitting the mid 40s for Thursday and Friday temperatures back into the 50s on Saturday and Sunday so a nice rebound also in 